ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today, sirs and miss? I hope you are doing good. May the Lord bless you for your time and likewise your attention. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in on to Arm for Christ Gospel Messages. May the Lord bless you continuously, uh, even to, to hear his word, to hear his word. May the Lord continue to extend more of his grace upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A quick reminder again. First and foremost, actually, how are you doing? I hope everyone is good. I hope everyone is well with you. Uh, God bless you and God be with you. Hey, probably, probably we'll be having some online messages. I mean, live messages soon. So that by the time I'm asking all this question, how are you doing? I can hear your whispers right immediately <laughs> to go over the glory. The will of God be done. God be glorified. Everything is according to God's rule, and the Lord alone be praised and glorified in Jesus' name. God bless you, sirs, and God bless you, mess. Before we go into the word of God today, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this privilege, even to, to get another summary, another summary reflecting and, and, and making us ready even to, to get more understanding and insight of your word, of your word to us. We say thank you, blessed Father. We glorify and praise your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for keeping us alive to this day, for seeing us through another another month again, another season again, another day again, even preparing us to go, to transition into a new month again. We we'll give you all the praise for all this, your wonderful care towards us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And I wish you all happy new month in advance again as we go sharing into the word of God today, our monthly message somewhere. June message somewhere june message somewhere to god be glorified first week in that month of june we had a message titled the wonders of gratitude the wonders of gratitude we made to understand that god expects our appreciation we made to understand that our thanks and appreciation to god's deed towards us could make God, could steer God up, could make God to activate a miracle he has planned for the future, could make God to fulfill instantly, immediately, within this present season, a miracle, a blessing he has positioned for a time in the future. The wonders of gratitude. We saw the example of Bible focus, the life of Noah. This Noah that obtained God's favor to be single and out with his family, right? And, and some few animals and every other creatures were wiped off as we saw the manifestations of something that had never occurred before. Rain. And this man, after this favor of God, this man reflected, this man thought deeply, this man thought deeply. Hey, gratitude activates God's miracle. That was one of the points we got here. Gratitude appreciate, activates God's miracle. Please check those messages again. And even more, we're still going to be checking on. Gratitude activates God's miracle. This man reflected about the deed of God, about the favor of God, and offered a burnt offering unto God. He offered an offering. He offered a sacrifice unto God. He offered thanksgiving to God. He offered appreciation, words of appreciation, action of appreciation, step of appreciation, decision of appreciation, deeds of appreciation, of gratitude towards God. And God was like, ah, okay, I mean, I've done that, okay, but I will never do that again. Wow, God, God could say that, okay, like what I just did right now, just because of what you have done, just because of your gratitude, I promise I'm not going to do that again. God can actually activate his blessing, a few, a plant blessing for the future you can bring it to fulfillment now just because of your gratitude just because of your appreciation 
And we also saw another example uh, that, that one of the lepros, one of the ten lepros that Jesus healed, and one of them returned and came back. Then, Master, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm, I came to a, give thanks for for the for the miracle, for the favor, for the blessings of being healed from this from this disease. God did something important something God rescue you from pain from being separated from others God rescued you from shame God rescued you from from death and you have not appreciated him no you need to be grateful you need to give thanks to God don't overlook it think deeply it is an humble person that is grateful. Uh, that is another point we got in the message. It is an humble person that is grateful. Humble yourself towards God. Think deeply and appreciate the goodness of God in your life. Give thanks for those good things he has done for you. And see whether or not those things you're still trusting him for, whether or not he's going to fulfill them. And indeed, he will surely because... Gratitude activate God's miracle, activate more of God's blessings, more of God's favor. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Second week, we had a message titled Your Responsibility. Your Responsibility. You may to understand as God has his own responsibility, he also has expectation of us to have our own responsibility. That yes, there are some people waiting for us to succeed to be able to help them to also fulfill their own destiny that is how god has purpose it god expects you to strive and be successful to fulfill his assignment his purpose of your creation your the mission he has created you for for you to accomplish it so that others all the generation ahead Can be a benefit, can learn from those experiences so that they can know the paths to take. That yes, a child of God worked with God and he fulfilled his mission on earth. God making you as example towards others, they can also walk in that path to fulfill their mission on earth to so the glory of God, our Heavenly Father. Your responsibility, your responsibility, and may the Lord bless you. We also, we, okay, another example we also found in that message was that we, we saw a Valeves, right? This, the, the, there are several members of this team, and if the first person who has this baton doesn't run enough, have enough speed to be able to hand over the baton, the next person cannot proceed. So that is how your responsibility is very important for others to be able to fulfill God's expectations of them, God's purpose and mission for their creation. Your responsibility. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Third week in that month of June, we have a message titled, Father's Day, Happy Father's Day, Happy Father's Day, a wonderful moment to appreciate our wonderful fathers, right? Our wonderful fathers. And first and foremost, to appreciate our Heavenly Father, our Keeper, our Creator, our Sustainer, our Healer, our Provider. And now looking onto our Earthly Father, Telling them thank you, taking a moment to appreciate their their their, their good works, their their endurance, their hard works, taking care of us, the children, taking care of the family, making sure that we are we are we are good, making sure they are fulfilling God's responsibility, hey, eh? God's expectations of them to take care of their family, those children He has given to them as gifts, right? So I also use this moment for Mom for Christ God's message to appreciate you, our our fathers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Even I'm, I'm for Christ God's messages. Thank you so much. God, may God reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you and be with you. Reward you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
God bless you. God bless you. Final week in that month of June, we had a message titled God's Offer. God's Offer. God's Offer. And by the grace of God, this is another reflection about a benefit of serving God. Benefit of serving God. I was opportune, right? Uh, giving this uh, assignment to, to, to share the, the word of God. And this was a message I got. And reflecting back on the message I took, the benefit of serving God, I wouldn't have been blessed with this understanding, with this knowledge, if not of uh, if not that I was given this assignment, so benefit of serving God, if not that I was given this assignment, I would not be blessed with the understanding of this message. So to God be the glory. And in that message, God's offer, we are made to understand that, yes, God wants us to receive His honor. He wants to give us, He wants to give us, He wants to give us His honor, to be His representative on earth. And our Bible focus was in the book of Exodus chapter 19 verse 5. If you indeed, if you will indeed, if you, if you, if you will indeed obey my voice and yekin, uh, yekin to my word. I will, I will make you a special treasure. I will, I will make you, you, if you, you that is being obedient to me, you that is being yaking to my word, you that is being obedient and keeping my covenant, I will make you a special treasure, a special treasure, a special treasure, because all the head is mine, a special treasure, a special treasure. God want to make us his own representative on heads. If only we can obey his commandment, if only we can obey his voice, if only we can keep his word. And Jesus told us, John chapter 14, it says, it says, it says, if you are my friend, you will keep my command. And God is now telling us, if you will just indeed obey my voice, if you will yak into my word, if you will keep my covenant, if you will keep my instruction, if you will keep my commandments, I will make you a special treasure. What a wonderful thing to be God's special treasure. And we, we had a question will you obey will you are you are you ready to obey god will you obey god will you obey god will you will you accept will you accept the offer will you accept the offer that's actually the question will you accept the offer god's offer for you for you for you to be his representative on it will you accept the offer remember the condition if only you will obey my voice. If only you will yak into my word. If only you will keep my covenant. If only you will keep my commandment. If only you will keep my word. If only you will keep my promise. If only you would listen my, to my instruction. I will make you a special treasure because all the earth is mine. No one can question me for making you, for choosing you to belong to me, for choosing you to be my special treasure. No one can question me. That is how God is telling, that's what God is telling you right now. That no one can question him. If you choose you to be special treasure, all you need to do is to accept his offer by being obedient to him, to his word. Tell him, and is ready to make you his representative. If only you will obey his words, yaking unto his word, keeping his and keep his covenant. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you you are my friend, if you keep my commandments, keep his word, keep his commandment, follow his step, follow his instruction, be like him, and you will get. God's of being a special treasure to him. And God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is John Mercy Summary. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Happy New Month in advance and look forward to our message coming up this weekend. And for Christ's gospel messages. God bless.